Welcome to the public information meeting for the JTA Mobility Works project for San Pablo Road, from Beach Boulevard to Atlantic Boulevard. We are excited to partner with the local community to implement these necessary improvements. The purpose of today's open house is to provide you with a background and overview of the project. Conceptual plans are mounted on the large display boards located around the room for you to view. Staff is available to answer any questions you may have and to discuss the various project components and considerations. We are very interested in your comments and feedback, so please feel free to speak with a staff member or fill out a comment card. This project is part of the JTA Mobility Works program and is funded through bonds issued against the extension of the local option gas tax in Duval County. We encourage you to visit our website at jtamobilityworks.com for more information on this and all our projects. As you can see by this map, through its Mobility Works program, JTA has roadway, mobility corridor improvements, and complete streets projects in nearly every sector of Jacksonville. Major objectives of the project are to reduce vehicular and pedestrian accidents and delays, provide operational improvements for better vehicular, bicycle and pedestrian traffic, improve drainage, and provide acceptable traffic service levels through the year 2030. The roadway currently experiences traffic demand that may result in an unacceptable traffic service level within the next 10 years if improvements are not made to the corridor. By providing the proposed improvements, traffic service levels can be preserved and enhanced through the year 2030 and beyond. The benefits of these improvements also include improved safety and mobility for all users, reduction in vehicle delays, improved access to adjacent neighborhoods, bicycle facilities, and better livability for the residents while accommodating the significant traffic that uses the roadway. San Pablo Road from Beach Boulevard to Atlantic Boulevard is primarily a two-lane road with unpaved shoulders ditches, and sidewalks on both sides for most of the corridor. No sidewalks exist on the west side of the roadway from just north of Beach Boulevard to Drake's Point Drive, and there are no bike lanes provided. There are three signalized intersections, one at each end of the project, Beach and Atlantic, and one at Osprey Point Drive. The signals at both Beach and Atlantic Boulevards are to receive minor adjustments while the signal at Osprey Point Drive will be replaced with a mast arm system. Existing right-of-way along the corridor is typically 80 feet and centered on San Pablo Road. This image shows San Pablo Road as the majority of the corridor exists today from Beach Boulevard to Atlantic Boulevard, with one travel lane in each direction. Swales of varying dimensions are bordered by a five-foot sidewalk on the outside edge of the travel lanes. For the majority of the corridor, the existing condition is a two-lane roadway with limited neighborhood access, minimal to no bike lanes and no west side sidewalk connectivity. Signals function with current and projected traffic. This condition widens to multi-lane sections at the major intersections at Beach Boulevard and Atlantic Boulevard. Left unchanged, Travel speeds and delays are expected to deteriorate to unacceptable levels, a service level F, by the year 2030. This image shows San Pablo Road in the proposed sections from Beach Boulevard to Crystal Cove Drive and from Osprey Point Drive to Atlantic Boulevard. Two through lanes and a continuous center left turn lane are provided for motorists with continuous six-foot sidewalks for pedestrians and five-foot bike lanes adjacent to the curb for cyclists. The proposed improvements for segments one and three of the project will be accomplished by reconstructing the existing roadway to a three-lane section with continuous sidewalks and designated bike lanes. The center lane will serve as a continuous turn lane providing access to adjacent properties. Acquisition of some right-of-way is required in order to construct ponds intended to improve drainage along the entire roadway from beach to Atlantic. Temporary construction easements may also be required in this area to harmonize the planned construction 
with adjacent properties. The resulting roadway is expected to function more efficiently with current and projected traffic through the year 2030 due to the increased opportunity for vehicles to make turns without stopping the through traffic. This image shows San Pablo Road in the proposed segment from Crystal Cove to Osprey Point Drive, which will be widened, milled, and resurfaced. Two through lanes and a center turn lane are provided for motorists with five-foot bike lanes on the paved shoulders for cyclists. Swales of varying dimensions are bordered by a five-foot sidewalk on the outside edge of the travel lanes to facilitate pedestrians. The proposed typical section in this area allows the JTA to minimize construction and potential right-of-way impacts while providing the turn lanes required for an acceptable service level for both immediate and future traffic. The proposed improvement for Segment 2 would be accomplished by widening to a three-lane section, providing a continuous left turn lane and right turn lanes as warranted to provide access to adjacent developments. Right-of-way acquisition and temporary construction easements would not be expected in this area. Expected benefits of the proposed improvements include improved safety by reducing crash conflict points and maximizing the efficiency of traffic flow, improved aesthetics with raised and grass medians in selected areas, upgraded pedestrian and bike travel by providing sidewalk and bike lane connectivity, and pedestrian crossing features will be improved at signalized intersections. Additional benefits include drainage improvements throughout the corridor. The roadway will function more efficiently with current and projected year 2030 traffic due to the increased opportunity for vehicles to make turns without stopping the through traffic. And delays will be reduced for current and projected traffic conditions. Production of the roadway plans began earlier this year with completion of the final roadway plans expected by the spring of 2019. Construction will begin in the summer of 2019 with completion expected by the spring of 2021. We appreciate your feedback on this important project. It belongs to you, and if you have any questions, please contact Emma Shipman at either the address, email, or phone number provided. Our staff is now available to answer any further questions you might have. The features shown in this presentation may change during design or construction as warranted due to changes in design or construction requirements. This presentation will start again in one minute.